Hello everyone, this is the FNAF News Channel, and this is my first compilation of all the news shorts from the week. I hope for your support, and let's get started. What's wrong with Fiznom? Let's start with the fact that a user on Twitter under the nickname Alex wrote that the FNAF Plus game would be very boring. It would seem nothing like that, but people started writing to the author of the post with death threats and videos of similar content. The most interesting thing is that Fiznom started laughing at this situation without stopping his subscribers in any way. A little later, he wrote this post, pause and read, but it was too late. Many considered it right to cancel Fiznom's game and himself, which actually happened. Now Fiznom is not a developer of FNAF Plus plus and will never be. I hope you understand, well, I'll tell you about what happened to Fiznum, part two. As I said in the previous part, Fiznum is no longer a developer of FNAF Plus. Now the developer has signed a click Tim in the incentive and they will already finish the project. So why hasn't FNAF Plus been canceled? Scott Cotton gave a lot of effort and money to the development to finally end the FNAF Plus and is not going to close the project. Fiznum also tweeted later that the game was ready six months ago, but is it worth believing? I'll leave the question for your reflection. And in the meantime, I'll tell you about FNAF News for today? Let's go. Hot Topic released a woven security guard shirt. Hex showcased a new version of the blush puppet. U2s showed a new toy, Ignited Foxy from TJOC. That's all for today. There will be even more news tomorrow. In the meantime, I will tell you about FNAF news for today. Let's go. U2s has released new FNAF figures, and it's very fucking cute. The official Game Jolt account posted a poll for your favorite FNAF game, and FNAF 3 received the least votes. It's sad to see. Today marks the ninth anniversary of FNAF. Well, or yesterday, it's just a different time zone for me. Sorry. This is truly a great age, and I'm glad that the franchise is still alive. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and now I'll tell you about FNAF news for today. Let's go. Well, today I couldn't find any news about FNAF. Well, thank you for watching. I hope for your like and subscription, and I will tell you about FNAF news for today. Let's go. Okay. Haha, <laughs> seriously, I will tell you about the news that I missed yesterday. U2's announced the release date of those cute figures from yesterday's video. And it's very fucking cute. They will be released from August 1st to 15. Steel Wool Studios announced a preview of something at PX West, judging by the poster, something related to Help Wanted 2. And that's all for today. Thank you all. Give likes, subscribe, and I will tell you about FNAF news for today. Let's go. Several pages of a new book were published yesterday. I didn't notice anything particularly new in them, but you can pause and write your opinion in the comments. IGN featured a new tabletop game based on FNAF by Funko and I. Want it? Hot Topic released a new t-shirt with Spring Trap and Glitch Trap by artist Turntail. And it's just awesome. I really love this shirt. Anyway, that's all for now. Sorry I didn't release anything yesterday. I decided to take the day off. And with all the news I see, I don't think I missed much. Thank you very much for your support. But now I'll tell you about FNAF news for today. Let's go. Fig Pin has showcased a new series of pins. And to be honest, they look cool. But what depresses me is that there's no Spring Trap pin. U2's has shown a new set of pins for Pop Goes. There seems to be a lot of pins today, but why not? Hex has showcased a new plush toy of Withered Foxy. Honestly, I definitely wouldn't buy it for my kid. But who said it was for yours. Okay, that's it for now. Not many news, but it's good that it's not nothing. Thank you very much for watching. I'm waiting for your subscription and likes, and I'll tell you about FNAF news for today. Let's go. Today, there is no news. Yes, as sad as it may sound, there is no news on Twitter or GameJolt. Nowhere. What's even sadder is that YouTube has started to suppress this channel. At first, everything was fine, even great. At the moment, my first short has reached 3,000 views, and the subsequent ones aren't far behind. But as soon as I miss a day's upload, just look at this. The videos don't even get 200 views combined, and they're not really recommended either. I just don't understand what's going on. Maybe my videos aren't of high quality because an AI is speaking for me. But excuse me, I'm extremely bad at English. I know that this video won't get many views either, but I just want to speak up. Just know that if things don't normalize by August 31st, I won't continue further. Well, if you've made it this far, thank you. I would be very grateful for your support in the form of comments, subscriptions, and likes. And if you're willing, share these shorts with your friends. Tomorrow, I will definitely release a news short, as I will the day after that, and so on until August 31st. And now I'll tell you about 